Hello, welcome to the Stitchopedia, Jessie at Home. And in this Stitchopedia video, I am going to show you how to make a split double crochet or an inline double crochet or a center double crochet. It's all the same stitch. It's usually referred to either as an inline double crochet or a center double crochet, though I have occasionally seen it referred to as a split double crochet as well. All right. What this stitch does is it takes your double crochet and it kind of lines it up a little bit more. Okay, so here's one double crochet, here's the next one on top of it, the next one on top of it, the next one on top of it. A lot of times when you make a regular double crochet, they kind of jog a little bit. If you look at it from afar, you can kind of see it's almost a tiny little zigzag that goes in your double crochets, which bothers some people, um, especially when you work something like fillet crochet, where you have those little kind of open window panes. You see it a lot in curtains and tablecloths and sometimes some spring or summer shawls um, where there's those little open squares and some of them are filled in to then make a design. And those open squares sometimes don't look very square-like. They kind of go this way and then this way and then this way and then this way when you're using a regular double crochet. So a lot of people, when they do that, will go ahead and use the um, inline double crochet when they're working a fillet pattern to keep those stitches lined up. A lot of people won't, but a lot of people will. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat is really fine. Um, I'm just going to teach you how to use this stitch in case you need it for whatever reason. So first I want to kind of look at the parts of your double crochet. Normally when you're working a double crochet and you go into the next row, you're going to work underneath just these two stitches. These are your top two loops and you go right underneath the top two loops. Okay, that's what you normally do. With this, you see how there is, with any double crochet, there's this little bump on the back when we're working the stitch like this is this was our front of our stitch as we worked it and we have these little pretty little loops on the front and then on the back of it you get these little bumps now you turn your work and you begin to work again and now these little bumps are on the front for this next row when we're working this um, inline double crochet we're actually going to work underneath this little bump okay and you see how there's this little stitch that comes out underneath the bump that's straight up and down, you're kind of going to go in between that right there. So you're under the bump, but still to the left of that little line, which means when we turn it over, you can kind of see this little loop right here. It comes, it comes up here, wraps around your stitch, and then comes back down here again. You're actually going to be coming out in between that loop, in the middle of that loop. That's what you're doing. You're coming out in the middle of this loop. So if you were working in the round, you'd be going down in, into this loop. But we're working in rows, so we're coming out in the middle of this loop. And that's what's going to keep our double crochets lined up on top of each other. You can see already, I've done a few of them, and um, you can see how they come out from that loop which lines everything up rather than having it being pulled to one side or the other of this top loop, it's all lined up because we caught that extra little piece of our stitch. So let me show you how that actually happens. I would like to tell you that I am using an eye crochet hook and I'm using Red Heart Super Saver yarn, but of course those things are not, um, you don't need to be using a worsted weight yarn and an eye hook. This is just a stitch, how to do a certain stitch. So you use whatever yarn and hook you happen to be using at the time. But for this, um, for this tutorial, I am using Red Heart Super Saver and an eye crochet hook. Now, you're going to start your double crochet the same way you always do. You yarn over. And now, normally, you would just insert your hook under those two loops, okay? But, like I said before, we're actually going to also go underneath this little bar. So, we're going underneath that little bar. We are not catching this. We're not catching this. We're just going under this bar, which has us come out from the other side, just catching those three loops above our hook. So, if you kind of spread things apart, you can see there's the bar that we caught plus the two 
top loops that we normally catch. So we just caught one extra little piece of yarn, that's all. If you have more than that on here, you've done something a little wonky, okay? Now you're just going to make your double crochet the same way you would have normally. You yarn over and pull through, so there's three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two of them. There's two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the last two when your double crochet is done. Let me show you a few more of those. You yarn over, you're going to go underneath this bar and the two top loops, and then you're going to complete your double crochet. Yarn over, underneath this bar and the two top loops without splitting your actual yarn, and complete your double crochet. Yarn over, underneath this bar and the two loops, Complete your double crochet, yarn over, under this bar and the two loops, complete your double crochet. Okay, and you're just going to keep doing that all the way across. Now when I get to the end, I normally just, my last stitch, I normally make a regular double crochet and then you do your turning chain however you normally do a turning chain. Um, I, very, I don't really try to do a split double crochet on the end. Um, if you're working into a turning chain or some sort of fancy um, turning double crochet, it's not usually very easy. So most of the time my very last stitch is a regular double crochet and then you do your turn however you would like to do your turn. A couple more things I want to tell you about this stitch is that if you use this stitch where it is not called for, if you decide to replace a regular, a regular double with a um, with an inline or centered double, you will want to do a swatch because this stitch is a tiny bit shorter than a regular double crochet. You're catching a little extra yarn, which means you're dropping it down a little bit. Okay, it's overlapping the stitch below it a little bit more, which is making this a little shorter than a traditional double crochet. So if gauge matters, you definitely want to make a swatch. If gauge matters, you definitely want to make a swatch anyway. But especially when if you're going to switch out a regular double crochet for a centered double crochet, you're definitely going to want to make a swatch. And if you're doing something, if you decide to try this with fillet, you might want to do a small section of your pattern first to see if it distorts the image of your pattern at all. Okay, I have yet to come across a time when it really has a creates a problem if I switch out my regular double crochets for inline double crochets when working in fillet because I do like to switch them out. Um, it hasn't ever distorted an image badly for me, but that doesn't mean that it won't happen. So, you know, a little disclaimer, it is possible because these stitches are a tiny bit shorter than a regular double crochet. All right? So there you have your centered or inline double crochet. I hope you have found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.